Welcome to our shortest movie review ever because our whole family got sick last night and no one's watching our kids downstairs. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome to the Catholic Link Show. We're your host, Drew and Katie Taylor, and we pray this time will be your link to living the faith like never before. And today we are going to review the movie The Shift. Which is Angel Studios' newest movie. It'll premiere in theaters, and it is a retelling of the book of Job. So this movie has an all-star cast. First of all, we've got Christopher Palawa from Wonder Woman 1984, Neil McDonough from Minority Report and Band of Brothers, Elizabeth Tabish from The Chosen, and Sean Astin, who plays Sam Wise from Lord of the Rings, and Rudy from Rudy. So this movie is a sci-fi. It is a modern retelling. It takes its inspiration from the book of Job. There is scripture throughout. There's a lot of ideas of where is God in the midst of suffering and loss. So the main character, Kevin, I he is separated from his wife, Molly, and he loses his child. He loses his wife. He loses his life, uh, his money, his health, his everything is taken. And will he continue to praise the Lord in that? And will he continue to believe? And there is also the the friend who says it must be your fault. It must be your sins and how he handles that as well. So I know all of you guys have scripture memorized, but in case you need a refresh, in the book of Job, Job is a character who is faithful to the Lord and Satan who talks to God says, oh, Job is only faithful because he has money, because he has his family, because he has his health. And so they kind of make a deal where Satan is able to take away his property and sees if Job is still faithful. And then he takes away his family who dies to see if Job is still faithful. And finally he takes away his health to see if Job is still faithful. And the whole, this whole time, Job is still faithful to the Lord. And there's just a beautiful conversation between Job and God about um, this idea of suffering and and why it is. But at, in the end, Job stays faithful to God and then God gives him back basically everything he had plus more. And so we see that in this movie. It is more abstract. It is not... <laughs> It's not a retelling of no, Job. No, it's not like a Bible story. No, uh, which actually I think makes it very watchable mm-hmm. uh, in today's day and age when we want media that inspires the good in us. It challenges us. There is clear good. There is clear evil in the mysterious character of the benefactor. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, but the reality that it it is a good movie for us to watch. Uh, for our conscience, for our soul, for just pondering uh, these bigger concepts. Yeah, so Neil McDonough plays the benefactor, uh, who you don't know at first. He's kind of this you know, bele- benevolent figure, um, but then you quickly realize quickly. that he is the devil. And what he, he is trying to get Kevin, the main character, to be one of his shifters. So shifters are, um, he gives this power, this bracelet, to be able to shift people from one dimension to another. Hence the sci-fi theme in it. Um, and so he kind of uses these shifters to help run and um, keep chaos in the world. And Kevin, through this interaction, says no. He's the one who denies the devil. And so he spends the next five years in this alternate reality where he's poor, um, he has bad health, he has very almost no friends, no family, um, right? But, and, but there's just this beautiful scene of him still being faithful to the Lord and still finding hope and inspiration, even in the darkness. Yeah, and being a light, writing out scripture from what he remembers and being able to share it there with the people who are suffering. In this review, we are not going to give you a lot of spoilers. There are some surprises in how he's tested, who actually plays all of the parts, uh, which is really good. But we want you to go and watch this movie and go and support uh, this incredible Mm -hmm. gift. Uh, It is in theaters on December 1st. You can buy tickets to pay it forward to somebody. Angel Studios has always sold out. They're in theaters. And so as they strive to maintain that awesome record, we encourage you to support it. Mm -hmm. So our overall review, (laughs) (laughs) go check this out. Go watch it in theaters and go support. This is an amazing time that we live in right now where Christian media is awesome. We have amazing characters, amazing plot lines, telling amazing stories. Um, With good acting. Yeah. 
Would I watch our little kids watch it? Probably not. No. Um, it's there are some intense scenes. Um, there's gunshots. There's different things. But would I watch our like if we had older children? Would I would let them watch it? Yeah, yeah like teens. For sure. Oh yeah. Let them and then talk about the book of Job. Talk about these themes of suffering. Absolutely. So go check it out. Go support it. Go watch it. Uh, it was awesome. If you found value in this, please hit the like button, subscribe, share this with a friend, and we just pray that this time will be your link to living the faith like never before. We are praying for you, and God bless.